honor of 238 years that our Marine Corps is celebrating. I want to thank all of those Marines who have given the ultimate sacrifice and those that have served their nation and continue to serve. There's a great community here within Syracuse that I've seen firsthand over the past year and a half here within the city. That connection between the Marine Corps and the community has been through interaction with events like these that allow us to honor the traditions and celebrations of our Corps. We also have been involved in numerous stack displays, parades, and comforting the families with the loss of those Marines that were called to Heaven's Door. We appreciate the thanks that you have bestowed upon us for our service, but we also want to thank you for the support that you truly give us. I also want to thank the Marine families that work hard every day when there are Marines deployed, as you truly are the backbone of the Corps and help keep our Marines focused and driven for mission accomplishment. Off to my side, or actually right to the front here, you have a light armored vehicle, LAV-25, eight-wheeled vehicle with a 25 millimeter cannon. The Marines of Company E, 4th LAR Battalion, continue to train hard with this vehicle up at Fort Drum, here within the local area, and also in uh, 29 Palms, California. Finally, we must never forget that we're all part of something bigger than ourselves, and this is what makes our service so honorable. The Marines and Sailors within Company E, 4th LAR Battalion, thank you for the opportunity to be here today. Thank you to the Mayor and her staff for showing some Marine pride. Happy birthday, Marines, and Semper Fidelis. Captain DeMaria. Good morning, everybody. My name is Captain Nick DeMaria. I'm the officer selection officer for the United States Marine Corps in Central New York. Uh, first, I want to say thank you to the Marine Corps League. I appreciate you inviting us to be here today and also for all your efforts to coordinate this. Uh, to the city of Syracuse uh, and the mayor and her staff, we thank you as well. Thank you very much, sir. Today is a uh, a good day for us, a day to celebrate the 238th birthday of the United States Marine Corps, which has a long and illustrious history. And uh, we will, as Marines, continue to celebrate throughout the weekend uh, up until the official birthday, which is the 10th of November. But more important than just celebrating the birthday and the history, I think today for us is also a day to think of those who are forward deployed and I'd like to share a story. Uh, back when I was a midshipman at the NROTC unit, University of Rochester, uh, when it came time for our first birthday, my first birthday uh, being involved with the Marine Corps, I didn't want to go because I thought that schoolwork and employment and other issues were more important than attending the celebration uh, for the Marine Corps at that time. And a hard-charging gunnery sergeant, gunnery sergeant Dallas Bibbs, came up to me and he said, you have no right. You have no right not to attend. You have no right not to participate because somewhere out there abroad, there are United States Marines in a fighting hole in combat so that we can sit here today on these steps in freedom and with liberty to go to the schools that we want to, to work the jobs that we want to, and to celebrate uh, life here in the United States and I would also agree with that, and I would like to just say today that we are here not only to celebrate the birthday, uh, which is an awesome day, but also we keep in mind all of our service members who are forward deployed on the edge of battle today. And so we wish them a happy birthday, and we will celebrate for them with them in mind uh, as we go forward. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, happy birthday to the Marine Corps, to the Marine Corps League, and to the Marines who are here, as long as well as our sailor uh, brothers. Thank you very much. Good morning. I'm Ron Farewell, Commandant of the Syracuse Greater Marine Corps League, number 224. Just want to take a minute to say thank you. Thank you to the city of Syracuse, Mayor Minor, for allowing us to come to City Hall and raise our colors on this great day. We appreciate your kindness and your dedication to the services of our country. Happy birthday, Marines. Semper Fidelis. Good morning. I'm Bill Ryan, Chief of Staff for Mayor Minor. 
Uh, she's away today and asked me to uh, pinch hit for her, and I was honored to do so. As I prepared uh, to do this, I, I, I did a little bit of homework, and, and a young Marine in Yuma, Arizona, um, I think captured today's birthday, um, so I'd like to read it. The word Marine spans time, places, people, personalities, and exploits. This morning we gather to recall our past history, pay homage to the past generations of Marines, and to honor all Marines who have been served in every time and place. The faces of the Marines of the past tell the story of a tough, disciplined, and proud people who loved the challenge and gave nothing but their best. Today the uniform has changed, but the models remain the same. Sure, we are better trained, educated, and better equipped, but our duty remains the same. We are ready for anything, anytime, any place. At this moment, from Paris Island to San Diego, from Okinawa to the Mediterranean, from Afghanistan to Iraq, our flexibility and responsiveness is clearly evident to anyone who would challenge our nation. It is an honor and courage and commitment of those who preceded us, who have set the standards and made this corpse the proud party organization it has been since its inception in 1775. Now I'll read the proclamation. Whereas on November 10th, 1775, the Second Continental Congress authorized the United States Continental Marines, and whereas for 238 years the men and women who are the first to fight have stood ready to protect the nation from those who seek to harm it, to assist American citizens beleaguered by natural or man-made disasters at home, and to safeguard American diplomats carrying messages of peace and furthering America's interest worldwide. And whereas, though they may answer to Leatherneck, Jarhead, Devil Dog, or Soldier of the Sea, the men and women who have earned the privilege to wear the eagle, globe, and anchor are proud of them call themselves and each other Marine. And whereas we cause, pause to remember the generation of United States Marines killed in continuous combat in Afghanistan and the countless others who bear the physical and emotional scars of war, and whereas the residents and leaders of this community are committed to ensuring that our nation's veterans receive the care they deserve when they come home, and whereas the citizens of Syracuse join all Americans in wishing the Marine Corps a happy 238th birthday, we remain eternally thankful for the service of the generations of Marines who have stood always faithful to the nation. Now, therefore, I, Stephanie A. Minor, Mayor of the City of Syracuse, do hereby proclaim the 8th day of November, 2013, the 238th birthday of the United States Marine Corps in the city of Syracuse. Marines, attend, put, raise the flag. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our ceremony. Thank you.